How's it going everyone, TRF here, and welcome back to some more Chrono Breach. So, um, Chalk wanted me to come on a server and, uh, well, start recording. And I don't know why, but let me just show off what I've been doing off camera. So, I finally made my bedroom in my cave area, so, yeah, I got, like, a nice fish tank right here with some fish. There's a puffer fish in there, and a few tropical fish, I think a salmon, and a cod, and, yeah. Also, I have this bad boy over here, which I'm going to leave a link on the tutorial where I found this. But I just think it's really cool, so I just press this button. I wait. And basically what it does, it switches the armor out. So, yeah. I just think that's really cool, so... Yeah. <laughs> and I also have these item hooks here, so I have, like, a uh, pickaxe there. This holds, well, whatever I guess, my sword. This right here is the potato staff, which does nothing still, but Chalk's working on that, and, uh, well, yeah, just hold some items over here. Painting, I got my Electro over here, hang on a hook. Yep, Pufferfish still there, cool. Last time it just disappeared, I don't know how, I named all the fish, and I guess it died or something, I don't know, but, yeah, anyway, that's the bedroom, so, yeah, let's go see what Chalk left at my base. I think they said it was at my base. Okay, so I don't know where exactly Chalk put in my base. It's, my base is pretty big right now. And also, I've been doing some work on the towers over here. I might show that off later. So, uh, where is it? Chalk said that they have something on my base. But where, though? Should have been more specific there, Chalk. After all, my base is pretty huge. <laughs> I gotta start working on, like, making a town, too, actually. <laughs> what the heck? So I think that's what Chalk was talking about. Is this all iron? Dude. I mean, we do have an iron farm, but wow. Oh, that's a book over here. <laughs> What's it say? World Witch Doctor Tro Okay. Wait, that's uh, 303. Oh, okay. Thank you for accepting me as a member of the Fellowship of the Golem. I noticed that the Fellowship's courtyard did not have enough guards, so I, a I asked my alchemist to make a golem big enough to keep an eye out. To keep an eye on the entire thing. <laughs> Don't worry about the cause of the alchemist time. They were more than happy to help. Uh, again, thank you so much for the opportunity to be a part of the group. I believe in your message and I want to help spread spread it to the world. Which Dr. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so awesome. <laughs> dude, this is so cool. I don't know what else to do for this video. <laughs> um, well, anyway, thanks, Rock. Beautiful, isn't it? So, I finally decided what I want to do for this video. So, a few days passed, and, well, Halloween is over. I don't have my Halloween skin on anymore. But I got a few things in mind that I want to do for this video, and also for this server. So, uh, while I'm working on, uh, the next video, which might not be the next video. Wow, we got Scottish North. Oh, okay. What just happened there? What happened? Uh, so, I'm still working on the next video, which I want it to be uh, a storyline video. <laughs> what happened there? Wait, what? Huh? How did you get up there? Uh, uh, Okay, <laughs> um, the next video I want to make into a storyline video. Uh, um, huh? Is the iron farm above my my kingdom? I seriously didn't put you there. What the? <laughs> okay, um, skeleton horse as well. No lightning. That's good. <laughs> Uh, 
I wonder if somebody actually put this gold in there or if it fell from. Oh, where's the, where's the iron farm? It's like up there somewhere, right? It's not. I don't think it's near my base. Uh. Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'm gonna get a sow really quickly to tame the skeleton horse. I got like a whole collection of skeleton horses, by the way. So anyway, um. Oh, we got a few mobs over there. Let's get rid of the creeper first. And then a skeleton. Or miss entirely. There we go. And it went inside the tent. Great. Uh. Oh no, it died. Awesome. So anyway, uh, like I said, uh, I want to do something on the server as well. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you guys can see I have a bunch of, like, potatoes in my inventory, okay? There. Oh, I need to go to bed. Okay. Okay, I need to go to bed, so, um, I'll explain all this in the morning, I guess. I don't know what's going on with this video. <laughs> So anyway, the storyline video is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So I want to do something for this server. So, it's kind of a uh, copy of uh, the Hermitcraft's tag mixed with the hot potato. And I haven't really got everything fleshed out. And it won't happen in this video exactly. I mean, I do need to plant some of these potatoes here. Okay, so, let me just plant the potatoes here. I don't need the sugar canes anymore. At least not a whole bunch of them. There we go. That should be good. And just going to plant all these potatoes here. Maybe. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of lag. Oh, well. I don't know why I'm lagging so much, though. That's a little weird. So, yeah. My goal is to get a poison potato out of all these. Hopefully, I'll get one. But, in the meantime, so the goal is, and I might just write down a book and just flesh it out a little bit. Actually, I'm going to do that now, so I'm going to do like a little jump cut, kill a couple of squids, get some feathers, and make a book really quickly. Ah, so the temperature is dropping, and so is my immune system, so sorry if I sound like I have a cold. My, my sciences are a little bit clogged up right now, but anyway, here are the rules to Spud Wars, which just will be the name of this minigame. Is it a minigame, technically? I don't know. The whole server's going to be in on it, hopefully, and... I don't know it's going to have an end to it, so not so many minigames. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to Spud Wars. This is like the Hermitcraft tag mixed with a hot potato. Seeing that there is a lack of people on the server, I thought it was a good idea to put everyone against each other. Rules. You do not want to have the potato. If you do have the potato, then you must complete a dare. The dare can be either something to do with Minecraft, i.e., a resource pack, skin, X amount of diamonds, etc. Or, you can mess with the video itself. By telling the person you dare to shout out your channel X amount of times, make them play an annoying music throughout their video, etc. As long as it fits the YouTube's turn service. So no copyright music, or obviously no gore, or anything like that. You know, it has to be like YouTube friendly, you know. Uh, let's see, uh, there are no limits except your imagination, so go nuts. There's also a limit with the whole YouTube thing, but, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Rule 2. In order to get rid of the potato, you must first complete it there, then in the next episode, so you can't get rid of the potato on the same day you got the potato, you have to wait till you're either done recording or do the dare one episode, then get rid of the potato in the next episode, basically. Hopefully I explained that good enough. Uh, let's see, first complete there. Then in the next episode, you can either tag another player or sneak the potato in their inventory without them noticing. So if a player has nothing in their hands and the potato shows up in their hand, then you failed and had to do the dare yourself. So basically, uh, you have to sneak the potato in their inventory without them noticing. So if the potato shows up in their hand, then they technically noticed and therefore you failed. If you tag someone, as in hitting them with a the potato, and they see you coming and know you have the potato, then both of you have to duel each other to the death. The loser of the duel has to complete the dare. If you tag someone and they did not see you coming or does not know you have the potato, then that person has to do the dare themselves. If somehow you both end up dying in the duel, 
then you both have to do the dare. And the person who was going to attack their opponent has to look for a different target. So you're still it, but both of y'all have to do the dare, basically. Rule 3. Traps are allowed. Rule 4. The dares can only last one episode. So if a person asks for X amount of diamonds or anything else you have to grind for, it can't exceed past the stack of whatever the dare, whatever you dare them to get. So you can't go past 64 diamonds. You can't go past 16 snowballs. I think it goes up to 16. You can't go past uh, 16 buckets. I don't, I don't know how much buckets stack, but you can't go past the amount that the item can stack, basically. No multi-parter slash elaborate dares as well. So you can't do like a part one dare, part two, part three. You can't do that. And nothing really elaborate. So I guess that really depends on the person you're daring, if they can handle it or not. But nothing like too elaborate, like it's going to end up being like, uh, I, I can't really think of an example, but I guess that mainly applies to the person you're daring, if they can handle it or not. So anyway, rule number five. Teens are allowed, but if your team fails to tag someone or sneak the potato in their inventory, then the whole team must complete the dare. Rule number six, you can't tag people who are AFK, but you can't sneak the potato in their inventory if it isn't full, obviously. Rule number seven, you can't tag slash sneak the potato into someone's inventory who's already tagged you. So you have to look for someone new to tag. Rule 8, rules can evolve over time. Good luck and have fun. Sponsored by, sponsored by the Fellowship of the Golem. So that seems good enough. I think that's like a good amount of rules. Okay, so I'm going to make like a little area for this book in like the shopping district somewhere. Uh, so people can read the rules and they forget the rules. And I also might make some pre-made dares as well in case the people can't really come up with anything. So yeah, I'm just going to start the video here and start the time lapse. forgot to record <laughs> anyway here is spudworth and yes i know that w looks like an h trust me in my creative world it looks just like a w matter of fact here's a screenshot i just ran out of room on a sign i started from the s and z p r u you know i did like that so i can try not to make the sign too big 
so I can hide it like perfectly behind the uh, post office. And yeah, I kind of failed at that anyway, so I could just fix the H or W to make it look like a W. Uh, I'm not going to do that though, it's just too much work trying to push all of that over there, unless I have a bunch of pistons. Uh, but I don't. As a matter of fact, I have to restock the resto shop, because all the chests are empty now. <laughs> That's going to be fun to do. Anyway, here's a potato, and thank you so much to Echo for helping you build a potato. I know what's with the potato and me not making it look like a potato, but when I tried building this, it never came out right. Like, I don't know what it is. Probably because the potato is just a weird shape in general. It's just a big lump of starch and I couldn't get it to look right it's such an imperfect shape and the perfectionist Emmy wants to make it look perfect but you can't make a potato looks perfect so yeah just thank you so much to Echo so here it is on the inside nobody grabbed the potato yet so we're safe even though we're already the, just the only ones on the server right now so I have nothing to worry about so yeah here's a rule book you know somebody already read it through it looked like Okay. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much everything that's new with the potato. Oh, and also I have this little machine here. So, can't think of a dare? Then flip the lever. Random dare machine. Want to add a dare? Then place a dare in the machine. So, so far there's only three dares. Uh, get T-Rap 20 diamonds. I, you probably already know who put that in there. Play only enough 5 mo for 3 minutes and... Pull a harmless prank on someone. All these dares I kind of added myself. Uh, so yeah, in case you can't like think of a dare when you tax someone, before you tax someone, flip this lever and give them the dare. Uh, right after you tax them, of course, or after you sink the potato in their inventory or whatever. So yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much everything new over here. I still need to add like the lamp post so look connected to the uh, shopping district. And uh, just blank behind the billboard. I figured to place it behind the uh, post office, just so you know you don't have to, you know, see the blank side of the billboard. And plus, I feel like the post office is probably too much in the middle. So if I have like a path going this way, then it might be easier for people to like fork off in different directions for other builds as well. Maybe I I don't know though. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, that's the, uh, Spud Wars. So, Summit, which is the newest member on the server, I believe, built the Truly Tridents, which is just a choker box with, ooh, a couple of Tridents, actually. Poseidon's Fury and just Trident. Uh, Riptide 3, Trident 20 Diamonds. 1 Diamond per Storm. Uh, ooh. My mouse is also acting weird, by the way. Like, I don't know what's going on with it. I'm going to have to get a new mouse soon. There we go. So, Ancient Artifact. Forged in the domain of the Cyclops. This is a fairy trident Poseidon used in the Titan War. This weapon can even control the power of Zeus. Use it to electrify the enemies. So, that's nice. So, yeah, you know, if you want to, like, play around in Thunderstorm, get Creeper Head, or charge Creeper so you can get Skeleton and Zombie Heads, uh, you can go over here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you just go over here, that was delayed. There we go. You can see there's something new happening over here. So, a couple episodes back, uh, we had a event which a meteor crash landed here, and the goal was to build a research facility to study the meteor. So Trog built a creative world for everybody on the server to use. And uh, well Trog ended up losing that world. Uh, because we switched server hosts or something. So yeah we gave Lucian creative mode to finish up the research facility. Instead of like having to copy and paste the actual build itself. So yeah it's looking very nice. I don't know if it's done or not. I really do like the helicopter though. Also, it's pulling out like the core of the meteor. It looks nice. See, I don't think it's done. Maybe it is. I have no clue. But, uh, yeah, that's the research facility. 
And I better get away from this before I die. <laughs> Another thing that's new is I finally have a name to the kingdom. The kingdom of iron blood. And you guys have no idea how hard it was for me to get the... I think that's called an umlaut or something. The two dots over the U. Ugh, that took me so long. I just ended up having to copy and paste like an umlaut U off of like Google and do it there. I tried to like actually type it out. And for some reason it wouldn't work. I probably did it wrong. Who knows? But uh, yeah, this kingdom is now officially called Iron Blood. And I started to make like the actual town inside of it. Which that's going to take a while. And hopefully I will remember to record that and do a little time lapse. Ooh! Oh, what the heck? No! Wait, what? <laughs> Why are there so many creepers here, man? Oh my god. <laughs> I was going to go to the golem and just end it there, but holy crap, that scared me. I think we have like a little mob problem on the server. What? See? Two creepers. Right there. What? What? No. No. Stay away. Stay away. You're lagging. Stay away. And golden zombie, you too. I don't care if you're fancy. Just stay away. Ooh, a carrot. Lovely. Yeah, we definitely have like a mob problem on the server. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Another creeper right there. Wow. Lovely. Okay. So yeah, I just wanted to like stare the golem and end the video off. Can I please do that in peace now? I can't tell if that's like a mob right there or a piece of obsidian. I think that's I think that's obsidian, okay. I think I think I'm good now. <laughs> Okay, well, anyway. Is that a new golem, or is that the same golem that's been up there? I don't know how golem got there, because, yeah, the uh, golem farm is just that way. It's, like, far away over there. See, I don't know why there's a golem up there. I don't know if Troc or Echo place a golem up there. But, yeah, in case I haven't mentioned it, by the way, uh, not only Troc worked on this, but Echo, and I believe Sai as well worked on this so thank you to all of them uh if i did mention it then i'm just repeating myself but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you know if i have future episodes subscribe to see more trans the army and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Tear signing out see ya